our viewers are feeling the heat right now. Cities all across the country are setting records for the hottest temperatures ever, with millions of Americans still under heat alerts today. So first, I want you to check out this video of a UPS driver collapsing on the front porch after delivering a package in the heat. That was in Scottsdale, Arizona. So what are we doing about this? Well, the president is going to lay out some executive actions on climate change today and may even call for a national climate emergency. Tori, what does that even mean? Like, what could he actually do? So an exec a national emergency would say yes to the following steps. He could halt any U.S. exports of crude oil and offshore drilling immediately. He could redirect military funding that you actually spoke about, Sam, to the construction of renewable energy projects. People are comparing that to when Trump used money for the U.S. border and made a wall. He redirected money as an emergency for the border wall. He could impose trade penalties uh, for countries that permit deforestation, much like Brazil. He could build domestic clean energy, and he could impose stricter rules to limit various pollutants. He could do a lot. And I know the Democrats want him to go into, quote, beast mode on this because we just have had L after L after L after L. And he has the right to do it. Do you We've think he's going to? Has to. If he wants to stay afloat in any way, we can't keep losing. You got to politic. The, the GOP does it well. The Republicans do it well. We got to start having a backbone. Wow. All right. Well, uh, speaking of climate change, um, okay, we got to talk about the fact that I know that a lot of you um, I think the prompter stuck. So a I'm, lot of celebrities is what we're going to yeah, get to. Yeah, I'm going to get to the next story. So um, a number of celebrities, including Steven Spielberg, Mark Wahlberg, Kim K, Kylie, and more, are being called eco-hypocrites. They speak out on climate change, but then they use their private jets for quick trips, easily traveled by car. So in fact, check this out. According to Twitter, um, that there's a Twitter feed that tracks celebrity flights. Steven Spielberg's plane traveled just 17 minutes, just 17 minutes for a trip in the Netherlands. Mark Wahlberg took a nine minute flight across California on his jet. Kim jetted around LA for a 10 minute trip on her $150 million private plane. And of course, Kylie Jenner is also being called out for her 12 minute trip on her PJ. That means private jet. <laughs> Some of you might find that cringeworthy, you know, just going on a PJ. So what do you think of these celebs talking about being eco-conscious and then using private planes for these little short trips and spewing tons of CO2? Erica, do you think that they're being hypocrites here? Of course, these celebrities are being hypocrites, much like us, the fans who follow them, are eco-hypocrites as well. <laughs> I mean, we're talking about the cost of convenience, and no one wants to give up their conveniences, whether that means beating the traffic on the freeways of L.A., or if you just decide that you want to get one tube of toothpaste that could be delivered to your house within 12 hours, but if you waited another 24 hours, you might be able to get the totality of your order from Amazon. But people will hit the button on that one tube of toothpaste and allow for that to come to your home because it's called the cost of convenience. I agree, most people agree, that something needs to be done about climate change. Something needs to be done by all of us to reduce our CO, our, our carbon emissions footprint. However, we cannot continue to just look to the next person and pass judgment on them and hop on our phones and tweet about it on our phones that are made of petroleum products. So, until we wanna get real about all of our responsibility when it comes to climate change, I'm not interested in calling someone a hypocrite because even uttering those words illustrates the hypocrisy. What about taking personal accountability to Erica's point where we all just look at ourselves and say, okay, I'm going, I'm not going to use single use plastic. I'm going to not eat as much meat. I'm good. Like what about personal accountability instead of blaming celebrities? Yeah. And I think climate change, people get all worked up, right? It's one of those hot button topics that divides us even more, right? But you have to look at what climate change is. Everyone uses water bottles. Everyone has a cell phone. Everyone's contributing to this climate change, right? This quote unquote climate change. It's not just the heat. Summer gets hot. I understand that side. Why, why is climate change but if you think we're not dis like being destructive destructive disruptive destructive <laughs> destructive <laughs> if you think we're not being destructive to this planet by what we're doing the emissions the garbage the trash polluting the oceans you're crazy yeah. right that all contributes to climate change not just temperature so that we have to take into consideration two we can only do so much in the united states we have laws and regulations we live on one planet not each country is on its own planet worldwide people are contributing 
to climate change. Their emissions are all off the charts. So we can only do our part here. We can only do so much. As to blame the celebrities for it, there's a lot of other things going on across the oceans that are a way bigger contrib contributor. What is wrong with me today? No, you're, you're to, the, to, to climate change. Well, to his point, Tori, you brought it up earlier with Brazil. If, if Biden can say enough with the deforestation, and it, believe me, we, we can have a whole separate topic when it comes to Brazil and their deforestation. If Biden alone can sanction that, that will help create some sort of, I would hope, uh, roadway back according, I mean, we have plenty of scientists that tell us exactly what we need to do, but can just one thing be taken out of that? Or do you think it's gonna have to be a whole list? I think it, I think we're, it, what's funny is, can we use this as an emergency? We're in an emergency. 1,100 people plus in Spain and Portugal have died from the heat. So yes, I think he should use all of this and he should do as much as he possibly can. As for the celebrity thing, I kind of see it differently. I recycle, I do do the Amazon thing, I'll admit to stuff like that, but I like put my aluminum in and I, try and like compost and I do my part, right? My footprint doesn't matter, but like these private jets, they are 50 times more polluting than trains. They are the worst way to transport yourself. So if I'm looking out for my carbon footprint, which doesn't mean anything, the least Kylie could do, and I this agree. is the, the picture she put up, which is her and Travis Scott going to either one of their planes. I don't know if we have it here. And she goes, which one should we take, hers yeah. or mine? It's just a little tone deaf when I'm doing my part and I know that it makes no difference. You're right, China, corporations, it's 70% is that. But that, for me, felt toned up. I, I, I agree with Tori. Well, I'm, I'm going to have to push back on the idea of your carbon footprint doesn't mean anything because there are far more people on this earth who are doing what you're doing and saying it doesn't mean anything than hopping on a private jet. Right, so I, I guess I mine think, isn't as large as hers right, is. But I think that's where we really get into a lot of trouble. When we have these conversations, it's like we need, um, you know, better air, we need uh, a better source that's more eco-friendly for uh, for natural or for energy, but we don't want to give up our cars. We don't want to give up our luxuries. It's inconvenient, and this is just an inconvenient truth. So I want to caution anyone who thinks that their little Amazon box doesn't mean anything, especially when you do it on a weekly basis. So I'm not saying that they're right and we're wrong, or we're right and they're wrong. I'm just saying we're all wrong, and we need to identify that we're all in this together. But we also need to each take personal accountability. Exactly. I don't want people Every to be single person. Yes. Every person. Exactly.